Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading a book called A Baby Like You by Catherine Timish, by, illustrated by Sibert Meldelist. Well, this is quite cute. Well, this is very cute. A Baby Like You. Oh yeah, so, like, so you do, rem if you remember, like, the book about Catherine Johnson, it says over here, Catherine, but no Johnson. Each new day in different ways, a baby like you is born into the world. Pushed up, up, up to the water surface for a gulp of fresh air. Hippos are often born underwater because baby hippos cannot swim or breathe underwater. Neither can adult hippos. They're nug nudged into motion by mama or dropped down 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 onto the ground taking life's first breath along the way giraffe mothers give birth standing up the newborn's calf fall the newborn's the newborn calf falls six feet long six long feet down and lands uninjured but you were not pushed up 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 or dropped down on the day that you were born instead you were slid and wiggled the your way into the world into your mama's waiting arms human babies cry almost immediately when they emerge from their mothers giving a kickstart to their lungs to breathe in oxygen rich air. Each new day, in different ways, a baby like you is carried, scooped up and whisked off to safety and shelter. A lioness will carry her cubs to safety for several, several weeks, even they can walk because it is the quickest way to travel. Just always be here and don't die. Or found cl clinging to the mama's to mama's back, a baby koala is carried at all times. First in the mommy on the mama's pouch, then it clings to her underbelly, or more often to her back until the joey is about a year old. But you were not carried in your mama's mouth, nor did you cling to her back. Instead, you were snuggled against your papa's shoulder or cuddled, cuddled into your mama's arms whenever you were carried from place to place. Human babies are very fragile in their first few months or life and must be transported gently and securely. Each new day, in different ways, a baby like you eats goblin treats, mashed and mush, mushy, straight from mama's or papa's mouth. Mmm, tasty. Penguins rely on their parents to feed them for about five months. Their parents take turns eating and them re. I forgot to how to say that word, but here's a little bit of that. Throwing up. <laughs> Food for the baby chick to eat. Here's the photo of that happening right now. Ew. But you are not fed meal straight from your papa's or mama's mouth. Instead, you slurped milk from bottle or breast, growing bigger and stronger every day. Human babies nurse from their mo mother's breast or drink formula from a bottle until they are about six months old before they begin eating soft foods like rice cereal. Each new day, in different ways, a baby like you takes a bath, rolling in, in muddy muck, keeping the cool under the hot, hot sun. Elephants take mud baths and dust baths so, remove, so to remove re dead skin and pesky bugs. Their skin is also very sensitive and dried mud and dust a layer of protective from the burning sun. 
but you did not roll and play in the puddles during your bath time. Instead, you splashed in clean, warm water, blanketed in soft suds that washed the dirt away. A newborn baby has their first bath shortly after birth. Most babies enjoy bath times, especially if they're bubbles and toys. Each new day, in different ways, a baby like you plays, rolling and tumbling in freshly fallen snow, developing strong muscles out in the cold. Polar bear cubs emerge from their den around three months of age. Through play, like wrestling, running, and rolling, they learn how to use their limbs and their bodies, as well as build strength. Or nipping their brother's nose, <laughs> tugging and tousling, play fighting to get all the excess energy out. Red fox kids come out of their den around five weeks old. Friendly play fighting teaches, teaches skills they'll need for hunting, like chasing and pouncing. But you do not roll in the cold snow or nip at your brother's nose when you were a baby. Instead, you played peekaboo or squished your soft toy from inside the warmth of your home. Human babies play simple games like peekaboo or pat a cake when they're a few months old. As babies grow, they are more active, running and climbing and building. Each new day, in different ways, a baby like you learns something new. Building a bed, bending branches, snapping twigs to sleep safely and soundly through the night. Orangutans build a new nest bed in the treetops every day. Babies learn the process beginning at six months but won't but won't master it until they're two years old or churning the water kicking legs paddling feet to swim safely and confidently through the sea otter pups learn to swim in the sea or river when they are roughly four weeks old first they learn to float then to swim and finally to dive and move about underwater but you didn't learn how to build a bed in the treetops or swim in the sea. Instead, you learned sounds. Baba, ama, and then words mama, papa, so you could finally tell the word your, your thoughts, the world your thoughts. Baby battle words, babble words, word sounds around four to six months of age by a year old. They generally speak a couple of words, but understand the meaning of many more. Each new day, in different ways, a baby like you begins to walk, standing on wobbly legs just minutes after birth. Zebra clots stand almost immediately after birth. Newborns are vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable predators and must be ready to dart off to sea, especially since their mothers are unable to carry them. But you did not wobble right after er birth. Instead, you waited many months while your muscles grew stronger before taking your very first steps ready to explore the world. Babies learn to stand and balance before trying to walk. After several months of practice, most babies walk around one, one year of age. Each new day, in different ways, babies, all kinds of babies, are loved. Just like you. So that was the book, A Baby Like You. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!